In basketball crazed communities like Chapel Hill, North Carolina and Storrs, Connecticut, fans are wearing their school colors with pride as Final Four reservations are being made. It was not long ago when that fever was alive in the Twin Cities as a dazzling point guard dribbled her squad into the national semifinals. Tonight, I go one on one with a Louisiana legend who continues to call Monroe home. With a style that transcended her time. I love to pass. And I love to score. I never turn it down open shot though. <laughs> A Korean teenager became a Louisiana legend. And everywhere we go, someone knows EJ. It's a reputation built from admiration from fans and opponents. I've played against quite a few uh, great point guards, but she was one of the greatest that I've played against. And I've said that and I will continue to say it. Growing up in Korea, EJ Oak's introduction to the game came as a curious fifth grader. Elementary coach told me, you need to try out for the basketball. And then I said, what is basketball? <laughs> Just come out, okay? As long as you run fast enough, you can make the team. Touring the United States as a high school senior, Oak was spotted and signed by ULM. However, the transition did not come as easy as one of her patented left-handed layups. I had a really tough time to uh, speak and write just everything. She communicated through basketball and fans hung on her every word. I had great memories here at ULM and I love my university. The love affair blossomed as the three-time All-American averaged nearly 19 points and nine assists a game in her career. More importantly, she led ULM to the 1985 Final Four and a 102 and 15 record from 1982 to 86. With her unique style, you can bet EJ would have been in high demand in today's market. Absolutely, probably I make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> her banker's loss was ULM's gain. After playing professionally overseas, the school's greatest player returned to Monroe, ready to dish out assists as a coach. This university is so important to her and Monroe is so important to her. And, uh, I just think the loyalty she's had here and, you know, what she's meant to our program. Her loyalty includes 20 years as an assistant coach. While the current Warhawks had heard the stories of Oak's legendary past, they had never seen the highlights. That is until we arranged a special film session. <laughs> All the stories are true, but now that you see her in action, it's like, wow. What would happen if you had to guard her back then? Uh, sub. <laughs> I never wish she has maybe three games of eligibility left. It's just kind of slider in there. I wish she had four years of eligibility because it's just unbelievable. Basketball opened up the world, EJ, and the Korean native continues to put her soul into being the best. It's a wonderful opportunity. I have that talent to help young kids. Just an extraordinary player, extraordinary coach, and an extraordinary person. Are you